Want to go build a time machine? Here. Time machine. Time machine. Time machine. Time machine. Time machine. Test it out. Um, uh, uh, just kidding. Yeah. God. Ah! Could you have... Jesus. Could you have made this thing any bigger? I, I'm sorry. NASA didn't have any bigger parts in stock. Just get on with it. Here goes nothing. utterly amazing. I know. This guitar is my future. Well, man, we need to get back and share this discovery with the world. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I don't think whoever owns this will be needing it anymore anyway. It just needs to cool down a bit is all. Alright. <laughs> this, this is amazing. I mean, time travel. I mean, think of the fame and the fortune we'll have. Just think, Brandon. <laughs> we'll have? <laughs> I was the one that came up with the idea. <laughs> Whatever, man. You know what? We should go exploring some more in the past. No, it, it doesn't sound safe. I mean, it, one time's enough. Think, think about it, Brandon. We go back in time to when some major catastrophe happened, something horrible in history occurred. We go back, we save some lives, bada bing, bada boom, we make history better for the, the good of mankind. Uh, let me think about this. Uh, no. 
What? Are you kidding? Nope. Okay, first off, alright. We went back into history just one time already, and what happens in history is meant to happen. Is there anything bad that would happen if we just simply went into the future? Hmm. Once you think about it, though, uh, nothing... History hasn't happened yet in the future. Sweet. Yeah. Hmm. But I gotta let you off with another warning, though. Uh, we can only go back up to one year. One year in the future. All right, I'm good with that. Let's go. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I might need this. All right, let's go. Okay. All right, 2013. Here we come. This is 2013. It's, it, it's all empty and whatnot. Yeah, uh, Taylor, uh, this is a 2013. It's 2063. What? That's 50 more years than you put in. You put in 13, not 63, right? Uh, yeah, I'm 100% positive. Then what's wrong? I don't know, the machine must have malfunctioned or something. Let's just go back then. Alright, let's go, man. I'm trying. Trying? How about succeeding? I don't know. There must be something wrong with the machine. It must be broken. What? Well, what are we going to do then? Well, it's 50 years into the future. There's bound to be other time machines somewhere. I guess so. doing out here doing we're all looking for a time machine time machine better get in here if you want to live I don't know what you've been smoking but we kind of have things to do get in here okay jeez all right what's going on here man why did we have to follow you are you kidding me the clones are patrolling right now. Clones? Yeah, the clones. They were found by the infamous Brandon and Taylor. That's funny. Our names are Brandon and Taylor. The Brandon and Taylor that made the time machine Model 1? Model 1? We just call it the time machine. Yes, the Model 1. That would explain why you were so oblivious about the clones. Wait a minute. So we're famous in the future? Okay. Let me explain. The Model 1 was obviously a breakthrough in science. It could end wars and cure disease and even save the world as we know it just because of you two. Wait a minute. Why are we sort of famous? I was getting to that. Once you conquered time travel, you guys moved on to other breakthroughs. Then making clones came into hand. Wait a minute. So, if we made human clones and their exact replicas of our counterparts, 
then why are they more powerful and more evil? Are you done interrupting me? No, seriously. Anything else to interject? It, sorry. Continue. Thank you. I didn't say they were human clones. They were made with synthetic skin, also designed to be inferior to their human counterparts. Robot? Wait, whose idea was to make human eyes robots? You're sitting right next to him. Dude! I, okay, sorry, I didn't know I was going to be the one in the future to cause the robo-apocalypse. Yes, you thought it would be cool to use the idea based off of Terminator. Well, now that you say it all out, it does kind of seem like a cool idea. Yes, what you need to do is... You two, you're under arrest for being fugitives and not having identification. Identification? Shut up, human! Wait, there's, there's a mistake here. We're Brandon and Taylor. Get up and follow me.